Okay, I'm going to play a little bit of online. Um, I have no idea what any of this is. Because I, I never play online. It's rare. Incredibly rare. Purchase your own property, set up an illicit business, find yourself a world in a food ledger lifestyle as a self made moonshiner. This week, complete any moonshiner story and bootleg missions this week will earn you two times sales for more. I don't know, I don't have any money. I have zero, absolutely zero money. Like, it's weird as all. Horsey. How much money do I have? Oh, hold on. No idea what to do with those. I only have two hundred ninety four dollars. Start matchmaking. What? Why? <clears throat> I'm not gonna matchmake. That means I have to fight up a. Uh, uh, oh, see, I don't like doing that. Ah, this is why I play online or not online, but single player. What the heck with that? I'm not even bothering. I don't like this. Uh, You know, to me, what would make a really great online game for this is that what would you do in real life? You, you make a way for yourself. New towns would start sprouting up. People getting together, building towns. You're voting in your sheriffs. You know, if there isn't, um, you know, a mortician or whatever, then you can play a part of being a mortician. You build your own business, you make your coffin and stuff like that. You earn your living. And at night, you can go off and gamble or or drink yourself into uh, oblivion or go out as a, I mean, bounty hunter as well. If nobody is dying, you go around and kill people before they can bury it. You know, whatever. 
You know, I, I would I would have small town <clears throat> dotting the map and all that, but I would be building the town and, and have the mayor, sheriff, and all that made and created by the people. You know, give people the tools and let them build the world that they want to live in. That makes sense, right? To me, I would really love that. I would take part in that. But these stupid missions go in there. You got to go into matchmaking, you know, and shoot it out with somebody. It's like, that makes no sense to me. You know, and that's the beauty part of EVE Online. They gave the tools to players and just pretty much said, have at it. Right? Makes sense. Makes total sense. All they had to do was give the players the tools and people would build their own, their own towns, you know, their own economy. And of course he would end up, yeah, I know, I know, hold on. Their own economy, you know, create their own gang. It's, it's just, they could have done so much more with this. God, I can't get out of this place. <clears throat> what the hell am I perched on? Why can't I get out of here? This makes zero sense to me. Go here. Bloody hell. This is really beginning to annoy me. And the road is down there. What good is that to me? I can't get off this perch. Whatever planted me here, I never came up this way after the last time I played the game. Yeah. I don't recall ever coming out here. I think they went the wrong way with the, the online multiplayer. I seriously believe they did. Like I said, I would have just given them the map, have a few towns, but let give the tools to the players, and let the players build their own town, build their own community, where they feel responsible for if there's any uh, robber or gangs coming into the midst, that everybody would get involved and want to protect their town. And You know, I mean, they, they could have done so much more. But instead, they adopted the same old boring thing that's been going on for out how long about always having to give missions to people. You know, I would love to be able to get online and become part of a community that built a town, like-minded people, you know? And you pick, you know, and, and you pick and choose, you make your own way in the world, like you do in the real world, but you do it in this world. You know? So that people in the community care about you. You know, you know, if you're gone for a while and all of a sudden you come riding in and you're all beat up, you know, or you sit down, have a few drinks and chat with each other, you know, at the, at the saloon and have a game of cards and, you know, that's why I could never figure this out. Yeah, that's my hat I have. Where's my camp, by the way? Where is my camp? Um, that's definitely not it. But Rockstar did it the wrong way. They totally did it wrong. That's my camp, isn't it? Wow. So there's my camp. Uh, 
quite far. So hold on. How far away am I from Valentine? Yep, Blockstar did it all wrong. Totally did it all wrong. 100% wrong. As wrong as you can get. I forgot what the key is for, uh... Better feed me horse. You telling me I don't have any food for him? What the heck, man? You better get food for this guy. Screw the hunting. Get back to, uh, yeah. let's, let's get to Valentine and get some stuff for you. Yeah. I don't have anything to feed my horse.
wondering when you'd be back. Seems everyone with a rifle been hunting these of late. He's all messed up. Horses, five horses, horse positions. Let's give him some treat food. I know he'll probably like that. for all of that. Could buy a bunch of carrots as well. Give him beets. Oh yeah, give him beets. That cost a pretty penny. But he's worth every bit of it, so. There we go. Okay. Now we're pretty good. We'll buy that. Okay. You know, that place there should be uh, should be built by a player. So, I mean, if people want to extend this town out to be whatever, you know, if someone wants to put up a, uh, you know, a whorehouse or whatever they can. Of course, the horse would have to be NPC. I'm sure that there would be female players out there who would probably do it, but who you knows? Does this place be that? This town, I don't recall ever coming to a town that hasn't been built yet. I think. Um, Sky's just pissing down. Is something filthy? No, it isn't. Maybe out that way. Anyway. Lady, I smell. I need to go get myself a bath. Okay. Well, I came in here. Let me guess. I just beat up the uh, owner. Oh, goodness sakes. Why did I do that? 
<sighs> not cool. I wanted to go up for a bath. But obviously, that's not going to work out for me now. Come on. Come on. I'll put you to bed. Nighty-night. See you in the morning. Animal cruelty is a one shot. That was merciful. Load this damn thing. Why am I spawning down like in the areas that are just insane?
The horse can't reach me. Look, I thought I went ahead and I was really, um, you know, this place is so barren. Is anybody really playing Red Dead Redemption online? Red Dead Redemption 2 online? Because the story mode is far superior. It feels so much more alive. It feels like it's a living, breathing world. Where the online is not that way at all. It really doesn't. Okay, yeah, I know where I'm at. I've had many battles, Terry. Not online, but uh, in story mode. The mod I use is um, it's very realistic. If you shoot uh, like the other person in the arm, it affects you. Can not you can they can drop their weapon. If you shoot them in the leg, they'll limp. If you shoot them in the stomach, uh, there's a chance for a, a total bleed out. If you shoot them in the spine, they become paralyzed. I mean, you know. far realistic. It's incredibly realistic. Another player up there, or is that NPCs having at it? Yeah, I'm not a fan of online, not at all.
a minute going on right there, though. It's so weird. I got a bounty of 85 cents on my head. That's not cool. Where's my character at? Um... I have no idea where my character is at. think it'd be like a something that just could, you know so it shows you location oh there it is okay I just spotted it you think there'd be a better way to get that look all right uh, Let's go to Strawberry, I suppose. Alright. Of course it will be up, uh, up that way. Alright, hold on. Yeah, that's going to be too steep for me to get to, so I'm going to have to go down. I'm going to have to turn this baby around down this way. Oh, 
Leo. By now, I would have come across a number of uh, NPCs driving their wagons and everything else, and people getting kidnapped. And Taken to jail and who knows what else. Yeah, I don't think this game is surviving very well online. Or if it is, very few people are playing it. I, I don't know. I don't have a lantern. Like, there we go. Oh, that's even worse. Yep, that's worse. Um, now let's see if we can't. Set up camp here or something. This is it's quite cool, but you don't get me wrong. Uh okay. What does it want me to do here? Yeah, all I would need now is a big foot to come punch me, so freak me out. Which would be cool. I mean, if they... Oh, there we go. Finally, Your someone... Are getting tougher. All right, man. Imagine some the dev decided, oh, just put Bigfoot in there. You know, the little family groups of them. And don't tell anybody that you do it. You know, and let people talk about it. Oh, geez, man, I swear, I come across the Bigfoot. It, it was, the thing was at least eight, nine foot. You know. And just don't tell anybody that they, that, you know, that you coded it in. It makes the medium rare. You know, I mean... You know?
There it is. Uh, it's me. I've already collected them all anyway. And now it starts turning daylight. Ah, yeah, boom and heck. Anyway, folks, this is where this online is going to go. I haven't met one other person. I don't know. Maybe the game is just gone. Like, multiplayer isn't as active as I thought it was going to be. Anyway, folks, take care. Have a good one.